Those nanotech blueprints fell into my lap. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But you couldn't wait to take advantage of the chance to get your shine on, huh? I knew this was big. I knew that this was something that I could turn into a multi-million dollar success. Do you also realize that you put our family in risk of financial ruin if it ever came out? How you got those precious plants? I was going to invest in it with Paul. Instead, you stole it. We leveraged everything my father spent a lifetime working for, a legacy, a family company, for a device that didn't even belong to you. But it wasn't only Chandler that you put in jeopardy. You undervalued Cortland Electronics before we even bought it. That is a crime right there. <laughs> you know, I think about how my father hailed you for being the good Chandler. Anti-me. No, no. Oh, Uncle Stewart's Wonder Boy was going to take Chandler to New Heights. Oh, we both know damn well that you would have jumped on this chance if you'd have had it yourself. Yeah, maybe I would have. But I would have done it a lot smarter. I wouldn't leave any loose ends lying around. See, that's a problem with you, Scott. You're not devious enough. Are you? No, not the good Chandler. You never intentionally do something underhanded, right? Would you put our family in jeopardy? Would you betray us, Scott? I'm not proud of what I've done. But I am not going to grovel for your forgiveness. Oh, really? Even though you know it would only take me one phone call to throw your ass into prison. You wouldn't turn me in. You sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know that if word got out that the nanotech project was stolen, it would cripple Chandler Enterprises. And as much as you hate me, you would never sacrifice your father's company to get back at me. There are other ways to make you face those consequences. Are you nervous, Mommy? Uh, hey, come here. No, why would I be nervous? You have to stand in front of a lot of people. Well, I don't have to do that anymore because Scott and I decided to elope. It's going to be small and, and private and just our little family. So he's still going to be your husband? Yeah, I certainly hope so. Hey. Hey, what is it? Don't you want me to marry Scott? You get married a lot. <sighs> I know. And I usually end up sad, right? Well, that's not going to happen this time. You know why? Because Scott knows me, and he loves me. And if you can hold on to that love, which is what we're going to do, we're going to be so, 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 so happy. OK? Yeah. Hey, you about the new toy I got? Hey, oh, sure. Sure. I can tell you're still on edge. What, what, what can I say to make you feel better? You think it's that easy to just forget? You're wrong. Well, it must be nice to be back home. Even if it did take Ryan's illness to get you here. How's he doing? Well, he's still in pretty bad shape. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. Is everything all right? Yeah, it will be. But you know what? I'm, I, I have to go. So you two stay, enjoy your night, finish dinner, get dessert, enjoy yourself. We'll do that. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, David, for arranging this dinner. Well, it's clearly a great idea. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe something good will come out of it. Hope so. Are you in there? It's me, the reality police. Have
have you lost your mind? Would you get in here, please, before somebody sees you? What? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are, what are you doing out of the hospital? You told me you promised that you would stay and you would rest. Oh, come on, you didn't actually think I meant it, did you? It's not funny. See, I knew it. I knew when I got Jake's text, I knew I'd find you here. Oh, well, I'm actually glad that you did find me here because I need somebody to, to, to stand lookout. No, you're not serious. Yes, I'm serious. Do you want us to get caught or not? You think she's all right? Bye. Well, she just seemed to run out of here pretty quickly. It was probably something about the kids. I gotta make a phone call. <clears throat> right now we're in the middle of dinner. Can't wait. Uh, I'm not sure I can. Damn it. Try Greenlee's birthday. Yeah. Why am I doing this? No, that doesn't work either. It doesn't work. Wait a minute, why didn't I think of this before? What? The day this whole nightmare started. Greenlee and David's wedding day. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, what, what, what's in there? What'd you find? Nothing. It's totally empty. Okay. All right. The well, you, okay, Brian, you gave it a shot. It didn't pan out. Can we, we please go back to the hospital, no, there's please? Gotta, there's got to be something in this room, something. It doesn't matter what you find. Be, uh, David, if David walks in here and sees that you're not as sick as he thought you were, it's not going to be good. How long before he finds out that you're working with Greenlee? 